Hey guys, uh, Beastish Larry T here with an electric go kart. It's gonna be electric, not gas powered. Uh, it's all wooden. Uh, actually, most of it is wooden. I have uh, metal uh, steering in the front from an old uh, ped uh, car type of thing. Um, we have a seat here, which is made from, which is mounted from uh, four planks of wood and a, uh, another plank of wood on top as a seat. Um, the, the braking which we put on, I, I put on, uh, is pretty good. Uh, uh, I still have to, haven't tested it, obviously, because there's no motor there, but, um, because I, I still have to get the motor and I still have to put the steering wheel on the front, um, uh, but the braking here works as a pedal, so when you brake, it pushes this lever down, which creates friction on the, uh, on the wheel, which slows it down. Um, you can kind of picture that, like that, you can kind of see how the wheel locks up as I'm going forward. But, um, yeah, braking system is very ghetto-like, as you can tell with the PVC here and the u bolts and everything there. But anyway, um, and then we also, my friend and I, we also put a, uh, this fake little propane type of tank here to make it look kind of cool, with the tubing. Looks kind of cooler that way. Um, I'm going to also be painting this whole thing black. Uh, I mean, not black. I'm gonna painting it red and black. So the base is gonna be all red. Uh, the planks are gonna be black. Um, and yeah, um, the the place I'm gonna mount the motor is gonna be on the back here. If you can kind of picture that, um, see the little sprocket right there. The sprocket connected to the rear axle, which is going to be two-wheel drive, um, and the chain is, the problem with the chain, it's really long, so, and I want the motor to be as close as possible, so that, uh, there's not as much slack in the motor, um, in the chain, sorry, um, but yeah, and then also, there's this steering wheel, it's, this part's still drying, as you can tell, I'm going to be painting all over that, so, you won't really see that too much, but you can kind of see how that's going to fit on there. And it's going to be turning like that and like that. And so, yeah, that'll work well. Um, and then you kind of see the turning radius. Hold on. Let me just... You can kind of see the turning radius it has. Those are fully turned wheels, and it works well, actually pretty good. I'd say that's about five, five feet or so. But, um, yeah. I'm going to show you me sitting on it so you can kind of see how, uh, large it is. See the cabin space of it. I'll just put this here. The motor I ordered is, uh, 350 watts. It, I got it from eBay. You can probably fi find it if you type in, like, bike, uh, motor or whatever. Um, I'm going to be using 48 volts from a, uh, two, two EZIP 750 batteries. Uh, I mean, yeah, two, two, it's got actually going to be four because the EZIP 750 batteries are two in each pouch. Uh, but yeah. So it, it'll it'll probably go at least 15, if not more. Um, but we shall find out. I'll uh, post a video soon in about uh, two weeks or so, or maybe one week.
once I get my motor, that is, and the other battery. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Thanks. Bye-bye. Beasters32, signing out.